Well, we're an academic medical center, so we see patients from all over the city, all over the state, all over the world. My practice is focused predominantly on trouble with the esophagus, specifically reflux, uh, Barrett's and esophageal cancer. So I see on average probably five to 10 Barrett's cases per week. We decided to incorporate tissue cipher into our practice to help us guide the treatment of patients, to get closer to that personalized medicine approach. Um, the data behind tissue cipher was incredibly impressive and it gives us another indicator of who is at risk for progression. And so we adopted it fairly early um, in its existence. Getting a tissue cipher set up at uh, USC was actually quite simple. Uh, we just reached out to the companies, said we wanted to incorporate this into our practice. Within a week, they had everything set up with our pathology department. Uh, it was fairly seamless and we began using it uh, and we continue to use it going forward. Tissue cipher is now part of our standard practice uh, in our patients with non-dysplastic Barrett's esophagus. Uh, every patient gets it um, and it will help guide us on decision making and treatment of those patients. Um, you know, one size doesn't fit all with non-dysplastic Barrett. Some of these patients are gonna progress and the idea that we can treat them all the same um, is a bit insane. And this at least gives us another tool uh, to make that decision on what to do for each individual patient. It's actually changed um, our discussion with patients quite a bit um, and in two different directions. Patients with Barrett's esophagus generally are very worried. Um, they've been online, they've read all the horror stories, and so anytime they get diagnosed with Barrett's, they're concerned about progression to cancer, even though their risk may be low. This gives us a tool in our toolbox to now tell them how low that risk is, and it seems to relieve a lot of that anxiety. The other scenario is the patients that come back at high risk. There we sit down and tell them that they are at a very high risk for progression to cancer and we need to do something about it, and I think it helps aid in that discussion and dis decision management. Yeah, we are presenting our data here at DDW this year on our experience with Tissue Cipher and what it has done to our practice management or patient management. So my fellow uh, will be presenting um, a series of patients where it actually changed our management decision 50% of the time. About half of that was we sort of increased the surveillance period for these patients. So instead of coming back every one to three years, we recommended coming back in five years. The other half, it actually upstaged our management. Um, we sent these patients for ablation. Um, and so it really has altered uh, the treatment of these patients with Barrett's esophagus at our institution.